Hello there friends, uh, this is Joel Humphreys. I'm glad to be back with you today to share a word of God with you. I'm speaking to you from the book of John, the 10th chapter of John, which concerns uh, Jesus and the, and the shepherd and the sheep. And uh, it's a good word for us today to recognize uh, a word here. In fact, I'd like several messages out of this uh, chapter on the shepherd and the sheep. And so in this moment, uh, I want to share with you in about eight or ten minutes that I have for this message on uh, the subject of the, the shepherd uh, and his sheep. His shepherd knows his sheep. The Bible says in John, the tenth chapter, and I'm reading here from the fourteenth uh, uh, verse, and it's Jesus said, I'm the good shepherd and know my sheep, and uh, they know me. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and they know me. And so, dear friend, if you're a Christian, then you you know you know Jesus as the Lord of your life. You've met Him. You've had a confrontation with Him, and you know Him by faith and believe in Him. And there's been a spiritual experience in your life, and you know the Lord. Praise God, and blessed be His name. He knows you. He knows you. He says, I know my sheep, and I call them by their name. He knows you by name. He said, I've saved you and called you by your name and your mind. You belong to me. And that's a good thing to know, to know that he's the good shepherd, and he knows his sheep, and they know him. Now, we, we read over in another word over in Matthew, the uh, seventh chapter in Matthew, these words. Jesus said, uh, Not everyone that saith to me, Lord, 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 uh, will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. For well, listen, many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in, in your name we have cast out devils, and, and in your name we have done many marvelous, wonderful works. And I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. You see, they were doing church work. They were doing God's work in a sense. But they were doing it in the flesh. They were doing it for their sake. They were doing it to magnify themselves. They didn't really know the Lord. And he did not know them for he said, I never knew you. But you see, praise God. Or you cannot, you that are Christians... You hear this word where he says, I'm the good shepherd and I know my sheep and they know me. I am known of mine. So he'll never say that to you because he knows you. He'll never say, I never knew you because he's the good shepherd. And he said, I know my sheep and I know that they know me. We know him. We are blessed of God because we have this precious promise of the Lord. And we have this promise because it's a real promise. It's a promise that's real and right and good. And thank God for it. Another scripture we have is in, uh, in the scripture of John, the 10th chapter, verse 11. He says, I give my life for the sheep. I am the good shepherd and I know my sheep and, and uh, I lay down my life for the sheep. I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. And so he, he laid down his life for you, that you might live for him and in him. And so we are to do the same thing, Christian. If you believe in Jesus and know the reality of God in your life, then you are to be concerned about others. And you are to do like Jesus, your master. You are to lay down your life for the sheep. You are to lay down your life for others. You must give yourself to God. And when you give yourself to God, you give yourself to others. You must love God. And in loving God, you must love others. This is the important thing. Matthew 22, they ask him, saying, Who is the, Which is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said, You shall love the Lord God with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. And the second one is like to it. You shall love your neighbor and others as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And so we see that you shall love God with all your heart and then love others even as yourself. 
And so when we become Christians, we are to follow Jesus and take up our cross and follow Him, but we are to love Him with all our heart and to love others, to love others. And so He laid down His life for you, and we need to lay down our lives for others. This is important. Oh, when God comes into the heart, He puts a love there for others, a love there for others. I, I remember, <clears throat> remember <clears throat> a foreign missionary that I was talking to one day several years ago, and he was going back to Brazil as a missionary, and he'd been him been home on furlough for about a month, and he had to go back in about two weeks. And I asked him this question. I said, "Do you hate to go back?" And he said, let me ans answer that like this. He said, uh, yonder is a doctor, and he is a good physician and a surgeon. He comes home from a busy day at the hospital, and uh, he goes, gets ready for bed at night. It's cold outside, maybe raining. He gets ready to go, and he climbs in that good, warm, comfortable bed, and the phone rings. And he answers it, and it's a call from the hospital. And they say, Doctor, we hate to bother you, but uh, there's a person here that they brought in, and you're the only doctor in town that knows how to really deal with this particular affliction. You're the only one that can help him. He's in a dying condition. Can you come down? I hate to call you like this at night, but could you come down? Well, the doctor said, I could say, now listen, I've been there all day, I'm at home, it's raining outside, it's cold, I'm at home and it's warm and I'm in my bed, I can't do it. But he said, if I did that, I wouldn't be able to go to sleep. I'd know that I was the only one and that man's dying. I'd have to get up and go into the rain and go back to that hospital. And he said, that's the way I feel about going back to Brazil. I, this is my home. I'm comfortable here. It's where I was raised and my family was reared. And I go back to a foreign land, to a foreign people. And I don't really want to go back. But in my heart, those people are waiting for me. God's called me to go to them. And some of them have been saved and others are waiting to hear the news of Jesus Christ and be saved from a devil's hell. And others that are Christians are waiting for me to come and help them and encourage them. Oh, if I stayed here, I couldn't sleep at night. I've got to go. I've got to go. And that's a good illustration for the fact, Christian, there are people out there that need you. I want you to know Jesus has said, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for you. And when you accept Him as your Lord, you're willing to lay down your life for others. Oh, and when you do this, you'll find that the real, real blessings come from Him who is the Good Shepherd. Jesus, the great Good Shepherd. Jesus, the wonderful, wonderful, guiding Son of God. Jesus, who wept and yet He dries all of our tears. Jesus, who cried out, I thirst, and yet He's the water of life for all of us. Jesus, who was led as a lamb to the slaughter, has become the good shepherd that gives his life for you. And he is the reigning Lord of glory. Hallelujah. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall never want. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.